Welcome back to another video here on Free Will Photos. Today, what we're going to be looking at is a workaround that you can potentially use if you don't want to pick up the plugins or you think that you need the plugins so that way you can work between Lightroom Classic um, and other raw editors. All right. I can't confirm that this works with Photoshop or Affinity Photo, but this absolutely works with a program like Lightroom. Uh, I can't confirm other programs, but I'll show you how you can do it and then maybe you can go test that out. So let's hop into the computer and take a look. All right, so here we are inside of Lightroom uh, Classic. And as you can see, I just have my unsplash images. I use this primarily to sandbox or test things out uh, in conjunction with On One Photo Raw. So what we're gonna do is right click on an image here, all right? I'm going to just select this one. I'll right click. And if I come down to edit in, as you can see, I have right here edit in on one photo raw 2022. Now I do have the plugins for on one 2022. However, this is not the plugin. This is the standalone version of on one photo raw. So if you don't want to get the plugins, you can tell Lightroom to open your photo inside of on one photo raw but i gotta show you how to set that up now this one here you can see that it's already selected to open in on one photo raw 2022 so yours may say select an application or something along those lines well i'm just going to jump over to the preferences and it's gonna when you click on that uh, select an application it's just going to open up the external editing preferences and that's what I have open here now down here where it says additional external editor all right uh, you're going to go with a custom and right here there's probably nothing listed you'll click on choose and then on your computer you'll navigate to wherever your application is stored so on a Mac, you know that that's in the applications folder. I apologize that I can't tell you where it's at on a Windows machine, but I'm sure you know how to find that. Once you do, you'll select it and it'll pop up right here. So down below, you have some options of what you can send to On One Photo Raw for editing. What I would recommend, if you're using Lightroom at least, that you send it as a PSD file. All right. And this just helps you with moving it into Photoshop or maybe even Affinity Photo down the line. If you so choose, uh, you can absolutely send this as a JPEG or a TIFF. Uh, I wouldn't recommend sending it as a JPEG just because you do lose some uh, quality to the image. But that's your choice, right? Then you can choose your color space and then you can also shoot, choose your bit depth. Now, I like to send the largest file size that I possibly can, so I choose 16 bits, but you can choose whatever works for you. And then the resolution, I usually just leave that at 240 and it'll be all right. Once you have this all set up the way that you want it to go, then you just hit the little X to close out the preferences. And now when you right click, you should be seeing on one photo raw 2022 and then if you decide to upgrade to the standalone of 2023 you can just replace that with 2023 so now when i click edit in it's going to give me this dialog box now if you are doing your raw editing inside of lightroom you're likely going to want to choose the top option now if you are just using lightroom as your catalog uh, storage device because that works best for you and that's what you want to do. You can do that, but you may want to edit an original uh, document. That's completely up to you. I won't tell you what's right or wrong, but just know that you have three options here. You'll choose the one that best suits your workflow. Once you hit edit, your computer is going to think for a second. Now, as you can see, I already had on one open. It does help to open on one before you uh, you do this. But if you don't, 
it'll open on one for you. And as you can see, I now have all of the tools that I would normally have available to me inside of on one, and I don't have to jump through multiple plugins. So I think this is a more valid option for those of us that use multiple programs and we want to incorporate on one in the workflow instead of doing a individual plugin because if I had to go no noise AI plugin, portrait AI plugin, on one effects plugin, I just ran three different plugins. But now if I wanted to, I can run all of those plugins. I have no noise right here. I can run that uh, tool. If I wanted to go over here to the portrait, which I'm not going to click because that'll just take some time and that's beside the point. I think you get the uh, premise of what I'm sharing here. So I'd be curious to hear your thoughts if this is something that you think would be value added for you down below. Now, before you go away, let me show you how to get your image out of on one photo raw. So we're just going to go ahead and add a LUT because that's the easiest um, edit here, right? So you can see I've added a LUT. So all I'm going to do is hit done. Now, when you hit done, you're going to get a dialog box. And I think it is absolutely important that you save over the PSD that you just opened. And that sounds counterproductive, but for organizational purposes, I think it makes sense. Uh, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below if you think that that makes sense or not. So by clicking on the dialog box down here or the selection box down here, you can choose what type of file you want to export. I recommend you keep it as the same file that you already sent, uh, which is a PSD. So that way you're not getting extra files. But if you want to send it out as a TIFF, a JPEG or a PNG, then you can or even a Photoshop large document. I don't recommend a DNG just because when you're sending the file into on one, you're already losing that raw quality. So sending it as a DNG, I think is a little misleading. But uh, let me know in the comment section below if you think that that is a valid uh, export feature here. So I'm going to leave mine as PSD and I'm going to hit save. And then it's going to tell me, hey, man, do you already have this particular file name and type saved in this folder? Are you sure you really want to do that? Because you're about to overwrite. I'm sure I really want to do that. So I'm just going to hit replace. And on one is going to do its rendering process thing. And this may vary for every computer. I didn't do much uh, to this particular edit. So I don't think it's going to take too long. And there you have it. It's done. So now it's just saving the file. And then... Uh, it just brings you back to whatever folder you were in in on one. So I'm just going to minimize that. And now you can see inside of Lightroom, I have two files here. I have the one that just came out of on one photo raw and then the original. So if you want to tidy that up, you can just click on the number. You know how to use Lightroom. I'm not going to go into that. Hopefully this brings you some value. If you are curious about do I need the plugins or do I just need to get the standalone? Again, that's a decision you have to make for yourself. I just wanted to offer this as a workaround solution for those of you who may be considering. Now, if you are looking to pick up on one photo raw 2023, I can help you save 20% by using the coupon code free will photos 20 when you go to checkout. Now, that's not only for on one photo raw. You can also use it for other items on the on one website, as long as it's not surrounded by a subscription. So if you want to save 20%, you can check out that coupon code. And I greatly appreciate everyone who uses it as it helps this channel continue to grow. I would love to hear your thoughts on the workflow that I just showed. If you want to see more content about photo editing, click the video right here. And until the next time, I want you to stay inspired and keep creating peace.